Well, we're here at the Academy Sports and Outdoors Rigs and Techniques at the CCA Workbench, and one of my favorite cartoon characters is Mr. Magoo. Yeah, I don't and, look like Mr. Magoo. And Dave, since you brought in those glasses. Yeah, that's not me. But you don't realize the fondness that I have for Magoo. I got you. Now you're my living Magoo. Yeah, okay. You're Thank my you. man. All right. That's nice. That's cool. No, man, now I got a picture that I can worship on my desk at home. Well, knowing that I have. I hope that's all you do to, to my look picture. Forward. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to talk about kingfish <laughs> because we can all catch kingfish and they're fun to catch. They're close to shore generally. They're one of the first offshore fish that most guys catch. Usually it's a dolphin and a kingfish on the same trip, you know, when you go out and try to catch, catch these things. Uh, kingfish are called king mackerel. They're a member of the mackerel family and they have incredibly sharp teeth. So we need to use wire when we're fishing for for mackerels. I use wire. I fish out of Cape Canaveral because I live in Orlando. So I'm usually fishing with all wire anyway because we have a lot of kings, we have a lot of barracudas, and we have a lot of wahoos. And if I don't have wire out, I'm going to lose a lot of stuff during the day. So I use number, probably number five wire is the lightest I will go when I'm fishing for kings. And I go up to number 10 wire, especially if I'm in a place where I think I can catch kingfish and wahoo at the same time. That's a regular ballyhoo rig right there. That's the, the same ones I pull. It's a little number seven uh, short shank, I mean a long shank hook. I usually use a longer shank hook on some of my kingfish stuff. I'll use a needle eye as well, but that's just a regular kingfish rig, that, I mean a regular wire rig that you can use for any ballyhoo. And we like to, you know, put little stuff up on them, you know. Well, we'll this actually is a one that I use for just a plain naked. When I, I all, whenever I'm uh, trolling for kingfish, I always have at least one naked ballyhoo on the surface swimming out, out there because you know, we all have a lot of stuff down and, you know, sometimes they're not eating that stuff when it's down. Sometimes I get all my bites on the surface baits when I'm fishing for kingfish. So I always have at least one out there. And that you, that one naked ballyhoo probably accounts for half the bites I get during the day. Even with all this beautiful stuff I've got out, the sea witches I really like. The reason you're giggling is because you know that I'm focusing on the, the naked part. I know. Yeah. But these, these, these are, you know, these are sea witches and they come in, you know, little quarter ounce all the way up to two ounces. And these are, you put those in front of a ballyhoo on those same, on those same wire rigs and everything eats them. Dolphin eat them, but kingfish really like to eat them as well. And I like dark colors. Uh, I, I've caught them on dark, black, purple, red, uh, but I've caught them on pink and white as well. Um, kingfish don't seem to be very particular about what color it is. Uh, we like to troll between four and seven knots. You don't have to go real fast to catch a kingfish, but you don't have to go real slow either. You know, you can troll the same speed that you want to troll uh, for dolphin. You know, I'm, just, I, I'm always fishing for those three species at the same time, dolphin, wahoo, and kingfish. So I'm not, you know, I don't speed up to go 14 knots to catch wahoos because I can catch them at seven knots. And I do the same, you know, because I can catch kings at the same speed. So I try to, you know, go a speed where I can catch everything. Yeah, and, you don't and discriminate. Exactly, I and like the it. kingfish loves all those speeds except for the really, really fast ones. I know Jimbo's favorite for it's, kingfish. You know, commercial guys will use a big giant spoon or a big white bucktail jig. Spoon, they, they've never stopped eating the spoon. You know, a lot of guys have stopped pulling the spoon just because we've got all this other really cool stuff, but they've never stopped eating a big silver spoon or even a gold, whatever spoon you want. This is one of the, I tell you what, this, these Halcos, these speed up, up where I live in the Cape are making a huge impact. My buddy Dan Jacobs catches everything on that, those lures. He cannot go fishing without bringing his Halcos now. They can go really fast and they can go fair, then they go fairly deep. The, the big one there will go 18 to 20 feet deep and, it, and you can you control that thing really fast. I yeah. mean, eight, 10 knots going that deep and and it doesn't get they have the really cool little tuning thing in them so that they they go really straight uh sea star on the short is one of my favorite lures you know it's an, an island lure uh, i i love that little lure on the short uh, i'll get a lot of kingfish and wahoo bites come right up into the prop you know prop wash to eat that thing so that's another good one uh, also, before well, you go, here's some stinger rigs. You know, you heard those guys mention them. These are like little little uh, number three treble hooks on some number five or number four wire. You just put that little section of wire to the to your underbelly on your hook, and that 
swings back there by the tail, and if he comes up to try to snatch your tail away, he gets a mouthful of treble hook. I like it. Hey guys, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button below.